Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome to part 200 of Persona 5 Royal. We're breezing right along. Why is this red? Looks like this door is locked. We'll have to find some way to open it. I don't remember what's behind that door. Alpha into Omega. What a great camera angle. For real? For real? We just flew through outer space, man. But, uh, yeah, part two a hundo. Making good progress, roughly like halfway through the game. Give or take. Definitely we'll be seeing a part 300, I'm certain. Part 400, though, is up in the air because I did finish the game at part 405 in my original playthrough, as we were talking about in part 99, for those of you on YouTube. For Twitch, it was like three minutes ago. Can't use this. Alpha to Omega. But we are, uh, we're pretty close to, uh, the time we were making in the previous playthrough. So, I think the difference is gonna be relatively minor. But I do, I, I expect this playthrough to be done slightly sooner than the original Royal playthrough. Even if it's only by, like, ten parts, which would be, like, three hours. I mean, three hours isn't nothing, but in a game this long, it's, uh, pretty irrelevant. Mine. There was nothing there. This is the one I wanted. Mine. But yeah, we're gonna get Okumura's palace done here, and I doubt that the airlock... I thought it was gonna be voiced. There's no way the airlock is gonna take an hour long for us to get through. Thus, do you see those cubes in the background just, like, sliding through that dome back there? What the heck? Thus, we're also, in part 200, gonna be able to do some confidant stuff, which will be pretty nice. It appears as though we will need to move about in the same manner as before. To think we'd end up flying through space. The awe I felt at seeing that flying bank feels like a distant memory at this point. Well, that was many hours ago in the game, Makoto. I remember when I first played Persona 5 and people in chat were saying like, Oh, Chaos, just you wait. You're gonna hate Okumura's Palace because of this part. You're gonna hate the airlock puzzle. And then I think I like one-shot it. Like I went through it with literally no problem. And I was like, chat, are you okay? <laughs> wait a second. Some airlocks are working, but others aren't. I hope we can reach our goal with just the ones that are on. Ah, uh, we need to get past here, though. Guess we can't just sit around. Let's keep going. We do also need to get the third will seed while we're here. What on earth is going on at Okumura's company for his cognition of it to involve an area where you get to places by flying through airlocks? This is the level of devotion he expects from his employees. They're even willing to risk going through outer space and potentially exploding, so long as it means that they get to their job on time. I just find the Okumura Palace slow, more so than frustrating, personally. I like Okumura's Palace. It's I'll one of my favorites. I don't really think it's any slower than any of the others, to be honest. Maybe if you actually do the math and check it, you're probably weak to Sayo because you use Frey. Resist gun. There are a lot of things I like about Okumura's Palace. I honestly like the airlock puzzle. Um, another thing that I really like about it is the music, obviously. I also like... Okay, you absorb fire. I also really like the... Uh, Dare I Beast Weaver this fool? That'd be so unnecessary. I also really like the unique robot enemies and like how it represents Okumura's cognition. It's one of the coolest uses in the game, I think, of like the, the palace ruler's cognitions having such an effect. Up high. All right, you've got to be weak to Sayo, right? Surely. Nailed it. Do not move a bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Oh, I haven't recruited you, have I? Yeah, because you're Mitra. I've had the chance to... Whatchamacallit. Not bad. I had the chance to fuse you, but I haven't. Die. Thanks for the money, idiot. Oh, hey, look. It's Futaba's all attacking. There we go. Also, and I know I'm probably in the overall minority of the... Persona 5 fandom when it comes to this, but I I like the Okumura boss. The Okumura boss fight is one of my favorites in the game. Fine. 
There's a button we can hit right there. I think we have to hit the button, don't we? Because we can't go through here right now. Yeah, we gotta hit the button. Pull the lever, Kronk! Wrong lever! This? Are these switches? There is something written above each one. These symbols. It's Alpha and Omega. I know Greek. Boop. Anyways, I'm not saying that, like... Everyone should love Okumura's Palace or think it's the best or whatever, but I definitely think Okumura's Palace gets the most unfair flack in the game. Like, people hate on it far too much when, like, honestly, like, it's it's better than, like, it's better than Kamoshida's and, and, um, Madarame's at least, just by virtue of the fact that Madarame's and Kamoshida's are so much earlier and so they have so much less going for them. Also, oh, these levers switch, these levers switch the airlocks on and off. Looks like this should open our path through here. This is all on you now, Joker. But honestly, uh, I've, I've never really done a ranking, or maybe I did do a ranking of the palaces with uh, RTK, Sly, and Michael, and I just don't remember because it was so long ago, because we did that back when Royal first came out and they all first played the game. But uh, I don't know exactly what my ranking of all the palaces would be, but Okumura's Palace would definitely be like, at worst, it would be my fourth favorite. It, it would probably hit my top three, I feel like. They're all weak to Sayo. Wish I had Noir right now. I need to max out the Fumi so that I can switch on other people's turns. Gun! You're a bird. How are you not weak to that? Kanashiro's is my least favorite? That's fair. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't dislike any of the palaces, which is great. That's like, you know, that's what you want to see out of design like this. There are none of the palaces that I get to in Persona 5, and I'm like, ugh, this one. The only one that I might almost feel that way about is, um, is, uh, what's his name? Is Kamashita's, and it's not because Kamashita's is bad, it's just because it's the first one, and so it has, like, the most tutorial, and... You just have to go through all the basic stuff. At the, you're, you're starting the game again, so you have to go through all the base stuff. What is happening? What the heck is going on here? You don't have Meteorama yet. I thought you did. This is why I have this. Please stop being shocked. Oh, dang. All right, well, I got triple shocked, which was really unlucky. We haven't had a death in ages. Is that like the second time I've died? Yeah, return to the prior safe room. Got it. As good as Persona 5 is, it's still a turn-based strategy game. And you know what that means. It means it has RNG in it that can just make you lose for no reason. Although, again, I want to point out, with the way Persona 5 is laid out, randomly losing to, like, getting unlucky would be a lot less common if they would just finally get rid of this truly terrible game mechanic of if Joker dies, you lose. Because I'm pretty sure Joker was the only one who went down right there. Oh, I got a treasure demon this time. That's nice. Is that a rare one? Don't let it get away. Did I say turn-based strategy? I didn't mean to say strategy. I just said that without thinking. Turn-based RPG is what I meant to say. That's my bad. At least there's also no insta-kill mechanic or anything? Yeah, it'd be really bad, wouldn't it? That, that would just be awful. There's no way the devs would do something like that. You know why I said turn-based strategy? Is because I was looking, my boy Slyro was streaming earlier today. He was playing something called Diofield Chronicles, I think. And he was trying to get the world record in it because apparently no one else had speed ran the game. So he was like doing a, a world record run to, to hold a world record. Which it is, it is a turn-based strategy game. I believe. Or it was like, it was weird. It wasn't, I don't think it was exactly turn-based. It was hard to tell because he was speed running it. So he was playing really fast. But, uh, right. it was Fire Emblem-esque. Huh. They were nothing. But it had, it looked like it had some different stuff going on. Honestly, I still hate insta-kills, by the way. But I'm kind of at the point in my life where, like, insta-kills in Persona, I'm like... I can live with it, because they very, very rarely come up. But when... 
nine times out of ten, what kills me, what makes me lose a fight, is purely that Joker went down while, like, all the other characters were still up. And that's, like, almost the only time I ever lose. I think that that's, like, kind of bad game design. Instead, you should balance the game around... You should make the fights a little more difficult and just balance the game around, uh... Around all four players having to go down for you to lose. Hello. Mine. Oh, there are buttons right here, too. I didn't even notice. I'm going back through this one. Valkyria Chronicles? No, no, no. Di I think it was called Diofield Chronicles. I can look at the tweet. He said the name of it in his tweet. What was it? Diofield. It's Dio like that JoJo character. Dio Field, one word. One word. And then Chronicle. Diofield Chronicle. Not Chronicles. Is he actually still live, I wonder? He might still be live when I finish, since he's trying to do a, a world record run. He has to go through the entire game in one pass, it. and it seemed to be a very long game. He was on chapter, form. like, three out of seven or something at, like, the two-hour mark. That's fair, but when the two mechanics can compound, it can make two bad mechanics one awful. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't disagree. 100%. Oh, dang it. I meant to switch in. I want Haru. Okay, wait a minute. Battle intel. Oh, dude, I totally forgot that you could actually check who gets to go next by pressing down. I forgot that was a mechanic. That's a good mechanic. But, um... What the heck was I saying? Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, at the end of the day, what needs to go is the... The... The protagonist dies, you lose mechanic. That, that needs to just... That's, like, antiquated and dated, and which those two words are basically synonymous. I don't know why I said them both. But, like, it, it needs to go. It serves no purpose in this franchise anymore, in my world. If that's the case, then let's talk. I want to know what kind of person you are. I wonder if this is for me. Had I known that things would turn out like this, I wish I'd found the courage to ask that girl out. It's not too late, brother. If that's the case, because you lower your gun. Pardon me, but if you don't mind, would you tell me something? What has brought you to a place like this? What are you seeking? An adventure. Ah, dang it. I tried my best. All right, goodbye. Let's withdraw. Would I be upset if insta kills were taken out of Persona? Okay. Not even slightly. Hmm. Would I be upset if insta kills stayed in Persona? Not really. Not until I get hit with one, at least. But that doesn't happen super often. We've already read that dialogue. All right, remember, there's going to be an enemy right to the left of here when I go through here this time. Let's not get ambushed by it this time. Also, I want Haru back in because so many of these things are weak to Sayo. Let's sit out Makoto for Haru, and then I'm going to give Haru one LeBlanc coffee, probably. Here, take all this stupid broken rock salt, Haru. And then take that, and take this. That'll do it. Will I be extremely pleased and praise Atlas if the next Persona game removes the protagonist dies you lose mechanic? 1,000%. 1,000%. <laughs> I realize this may be a bit negative, but this is definitely still one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, same. Show me your true form. Still standing strong at my fourth favorite game of all time. Maybe it'll go back up to three when I get to play, uh, whatchamacallit again. All right, everyone is weak to Sayo, duly noted. When I get to play Tales of Arise again, because that's what took its place as third. But, uh, I won't know until I play Tales of Arise again, which, honestly, I've really been in the mood for. I might play it again on my own time soon. I don't have time to do that right now, unfortunately, but maybe when I get time in the new year. What are your top three favorite games of all time? Tales of Zillia, followed by Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, followed by Tales of Arise. I don't know how to say your name. Is it is it Jean or is it like Jean? I'm gonna assume Jean because of Jean Grey. Welcome to stream, glad to have you. Hi there, join my cause. That was lucky. 
Oh, this is Mithras, not Mitra. Very similar names. Your power's incredible, Joker. My power is incredible, thank you. Please, continue okay. to praise me over it. Focus. What are your thoughts on Xenoblade 3? Uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's like, fine. Oh, this is the Will Seed. I thought the Will Seed was in the next area. The game is like, fine. Really, like, the more I think on it, the more I just think it's bad. It's not as bad as Xenoblade X or Xenoblade 2. I can say that for sure. I still wouldn't give Xenoblade 3 more than, like, a 4 out of 10. It's, like, good at the beginning. It's meh at the middle. It's pretty good when it gets to the big Agni and Castle moment. Like, the story really took off there. And then it just kind of nosedives into being bad from there. And because the game is so long, to me, the gameplay just got continually and continually more tedious and less enjoyable the deeper in I got until I just got really, really bored with it by the end. Hey, dude, I need that will seed. That shadow looks really strong. We'd better make sure we're ready to fight it. Are we fully prepared, Joker? Also, the ending of Xenoblade 3 is hot trash. <laughs> it's like the final boss fight, the entire sequence, the reasoning behind the, the villains and all, just truly bad. Like, looking back at Xenoblade 1 and looking at, like, that final boss, the presentation, the reasoning, and the lore behind Zanza and everything, truly fantastic. Zanza isn't even my favorite villain in Xenoblade 1, which goes to show how great the villains in Xenoblade 1 are, because Mumkar, Dixon, and, uh, and, um, Eggle are all fantastic villains, and then Zanza comes in, isn't even the best villain in the game, but he's perfect as the final boss, and he's so great. Meanwhile, in Xenoblade 3, like, most of the villains throughout Xenoblade 3 are like, oh, they're interesting little, like, opera theater viewers? Like, they've got some cool stuff going on, but none of them, like, super stick out, and none of them are like, this one is really, like, this is the really good villain, and then you get to the final villains, and they're just, like, really lackluster, so... It, mostly because of the ending being garbage. I, I kind of don't think favorably of Xenoblade 3. I'm kind of, I'm like done with Monolith Soft now. Even if they let out another Xenoblade game. It, if they let out another game, period, I'm probably not even going to bother. Not unless, not unless there's nothing else for me to play at the time of it coming out. If it's like, oh, the only thing coming out in a two-month period for Chaos to play is a Monolith Soft game. Maybe I'll take a stab at it again, but only if they have trailers that really, really impress me, which is unlikely. How bold of you to slack off in complete disregard for your duties. It seems we have a few impudent workers who are in need of some extra training. Let's go. Don't give us that. Your so-called training is nothing more than torture. Let's go, everyone. Attack of the Saiyans playthrough win. It's by Monolith. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, it's Melchizedek. Attack of the Saiyans? I don't remember that game. This is my other self. How do you feel about physical damage? Decent. Famine Scream. I don't remember what hunger does. Doesn't it make you... Oh, I immediately got over it. Haru ain't hungry. Doesn't it make you lose SP? Resist Sayo. Okay. How do you feel about fire? That's not what it does. Do I take more damage? Yo, we got Mindful again. I wasn't expecting that. All right, save Beast Weep. <laughs> Be ready to use it. Not fire. Don't do anything reckless. What about wind? Ooh, Yo, Relentless, it's weak to win. We Ariadne has this in the bag. It makes you do less damage? Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. That's not too awful. Hey, Harrison Recovery, let's go. Let's see if we can get a freeze. Ooh, God's hand is gonna hurt unless I reflect it cuz I'm again. Oh my word 500 damage gun All right, this will see boss dude that reflect just ended this dude's entire career Honestly, just like attack buff Akira. He's already got an attack buff. Never mind uh, You're no longer hungry Let's See if you can get a burn a burn would make Garudine do even more. I imagine You're probably gonna die here dude relentless is OP Goodbye. Hammy, welcome to stream. 
Let's go. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I like how Melchizedek's holding his head. Uh-oh. That could hurt. Oh my word, did it hurt. This setback will feed our determination. I really, really want to kill you with this showtime, but I have to get Haru back up. That's so upsetting. That's so upsetting! I wanted it! Thank you. I wanted that all out attack or that uh, showtime finisher so bad, man. I'm so upset. I'm sorry to hear you're sick, Hammy. I hope you feel better. It's a step forward. Yo, we hit level 41 on Akira. I wanted to hit level 41 on everyone, which we still might. Yo, I'll take charge over Attack Master. Ooh, baby. Beast Weaver is about to one-shot Shadow Okumura. <laughs> we did it. Now we can go through the door. All right, let's grab that will see. Perfect. This should give us enough SP to make it through the rest of the dungeon. No problem. And then we can give this item to Haru. Is... I don't remember what this one does. Is this the one that lets you inflict... Not inflict. It lets you charge one of your allies? No, I think that's the seventh palace that lets you charge an ally. I think, at least. I vaguely remember. Hey, Crystal of Greed. The third will seed, it's up. It's ours now. Sorry, Father. I didn't mean to interrupt you there, Haru. My bad. Uh, let's slap that on Haru instead of the first mate badge. Oh, we have the Bless Amp stat up thing, too. I should put that on someone. Crystal of Greed. Attack Master. Sure. What do you have again? We have the Dandy Mirror. What does the Dandy Mirror do? Can't I look at it like... Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike is pretty good. But Bless Amp and three, plus three to stats? I mean, we don't have... I do want to get Kogo on on... I think I want to get Kogo on on uh, Ariadne at some point. How much longer is stream going? Yeah, about 35 minutes, actually. 35, 40 minutes. I want the stat ups. Bless Amp is kind of secondary on this. Whoop! All right, now we need to get out of here. I think I need to. I think I need to flip the switch. I think it's one a.m. where I live. I want to see it till the end. That is pretty late. I usually stay up until about midnight to one a.m. most nights. I usually go to bed at around midnight, but then, um... Oh, wait a minute. We need to go through this. I usually go to bed around midnight, give or take. I actually stayed up until, like, 2 a.m. last night. I was busy working on stuff. But, uh... I have a lot of trouble falling asleep. I'm one of those people who, like, can't fall asleep for a long while. Hello, Quain. So, I can end up laying in bed for anywhere from, like, 20 minutes to an hour before I fall asleep, depending. Okay, they're weak to nuke. That's why I get for switching out Makoto. Easy. Oh, I get wrecked. Take over. What about ice? It hurt him. Uh oh. Uh oh. I love the Sayodine animation. Easy. Alright, you guys gotta be weak to new. I don't have nuke? There we go. My friend! I am looking cool. Die. My sleep schedule is all over the place nowadays. I really like to keep my sleep schedule as much as I can because I'm just... I get so much more done. I'm so much more productive when I have a, noobs and let's go. at least a somewhat decent sleep schedule. Especially if it's a sleep schedule that leads to me waking up earlier in the mornings. My sleep schedule is trash for the two past two weeks, but I don't have school, so it's all good, you know? I respect it. 
Mine. A rainbow diode. Boop. Oh, check it out. Now we can keep moving forward. Nice work, Joker. All right, that was easy. Coming through. Thank you, Sammy. I need to change this, don't I? Yeah. Whoop. Now... I think we... I think there's a switch to flip it once we get over here. Something. Give me. More punctured PCBs. We're gonna be loaded on money after this, which will be good. We've gotten a good amount of money out of this palace run. And we're still gonna have a Mementos run soon as well. Mementos will definitely be something we do next stream. We'll do Mementos next stream, and we'll probably do the Calling card next stream too. Get those both knocked out. I don't know if we'll get to the deadline. Only 21 days. We're probably gonna go through at least three or four days in today's stream still. Yeah, we'll probably get to the deadline as well. Depending on how long we spend in Mementos. I'm so glad. It looks like this is the end. We did it, you guys. That was simple. Let's keep blazing a path through here. Wait, was that the end end, or is there still one more... There's still one more, uh... Is there not one more airlock area? Yeah, there is. Okay. What do we have to do this time? It looks the same as before, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, one more airlock, and then the treasure. A safe room! Oh, thank goodness! Bum, 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 bum. I usually, I don't usually get like a full eight hours of sleep. I think I normally get, I think I normally get about seven. So, you know, pretty close, pretty close. Some nights where I end up staying up late working or doing something else, I end up getting like six, but I get a decent amount of sleep. Let's do it. As long as I don't let myself get less than six, I'm normally good. But I, I typically get around seven, maybe to eight. Okay, let's do it. Hello. I love the music effect when you go through the airlocks. What? Hold on a second, guys. Once we pass through this airlock, the treasure will be right there in front of us. Sweet, but uh, this ain't working. I guess we'll just have to find another switch, You're huh? Right. That could very well be the only way. Let's do what we can. Let's get it. I usually just wake up around seven, eight, no matter when I go to sleep. That's very fair. I, I usually have that sometimes. I see a shadow. I never let myself sleep past 9. I feel like if I get up and out of bed after 9 a.m., then my entire day has been wasted. For the most part. Technical! Oh, the disaster one was technical. Nice. Yo, you scared. Yo. Let's go. To remember. Ba -ba -ba. Weak against nuclear attacks. This one's weak to psychokinesis. Psychokinesis is no good. Yeah, let's do this. Freeze. Didn't get the freeze, right? How do you feel about? No, you don't. You don't care about guns. What about physical? All right, that works. Sixty-nine. Nice gamer moment. You're dead. I don't know why, but when Quain has like his damaged appearance and his like mouth is hanging open, he reminds me of Craft Bandicoot. Did we just quad dodge that? I'm built different. Goodbye. Okay. See it. Fine. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Oh, hello! Didn't see you around that corner right there, buddy. Why did I not switch in Makoto for On or someone once I realized there were a bunch of nuke enemies around? It would make this so much simpler for me. You had a nuclear, didn't you? Yeah. There we go. Your reflect means nothing to me, thankfully. I didn't double check if that would matter or not. I, I need more. Actually, I'll just do this. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't get more than one. I expected at least two. I am forgetful. Ooh, that's not good. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I'm immune to it. Thank goodness. I have forgotten all of the things. Help. I don't know what to do. Die. Hey, uh, be dead. Unfortunately, I can't baton pass to Joker for this. Fox taking over. Fox taking over. Die. I crit? Easy. Uh, well, on. It's up to you. Oh, get him. Let's do something to earn a I love on and Yusuke Showtime. You stand before our princess. <laughs> Not for long. I have her sword. Man, that animation is so clean. I love it. Unworthy of my blade. <laughs> Unworthy of my blade. Three is ours. Good work, everyone. Hey, is that everyone at 41? Or at least close to it? Agadine, that's our first tier 3 coming up. I never use energy shower. Nuke break, lame. I want to see Freydine. The cat and Ryuji are still at 40. You know, I should try to Focus. put them in the party and get them to level up before we wrap up. Wrap up the palace, that is. I'm here now. Oh, right, this part. The on and off. The path we came on has been closed off. The airlocks seem to have changed. Let's proceed with caution. Let's. Airlock section is actually taking me a little bit longer than I thought. It's going to be most of part 200. Probably not gonna have too much that we get to do Show once we get out of the door. palace. Can maybe do a day or two. Hello. Wait, you're weak to gun, right? Idiot. Imagine being weak to gun. This could not be me. Noir, if you wouldn't mind. Mopsia. Uh, die. Bum, bum, bum. That one still lived, dang. Grenade! 135, dang. Oh wait, I could have recruited you, I forgot. Because I uh, turned you into that uh, accessory earlier, whoops. But then I wouldn't be able to see this amazing all out attack card, 40K dollars. And the boys got the 41. All right, we're good then. I was hoping to get everyone to 41 by the end of this, and lo and behold, we did it. Hello. All right, that's not a that's not a white one. Only the white ones turn on and off as they're used. I could just jump. No, I couldn't. Okay, yeah, we gotta go this way. You're keeping with the quote from earlier in stream, just don't be poor. That, that's what I'm saying. Just don't be poor, it's easy. Through here. I'm actually not paying much attention to this puzzle. I remember it being very straightforward. And we already, yeah, we already got the will seat, so. All we have to do is get over to that last airlock, have it on, and then treasure out will be good and secure. It's off right now. What's through here? Hmm. Mine? Nothing in it. Hello! Show me your true form. Reveal yourself to me. Take over. You're all weak to Sayo, aren't you? I think they are. Get him, Haru. Giga dead. You guys got money? Yeah, you do. 15k yen, what the heck? Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted that money. This will be more experience, assuming we don't, like, freaking die. 
Haru does not have SP. We will use one LeBlanc coffee. Much obliged. Much obliged. All right, all of you can die again now. Goodbye. Oh, now there's only one alive to steal money from. Let's go. This is so much better. Oh, I'm going to steal money anyway. I didn't ask for this. I said money. All right, you can die now. I do. Kill ghosts in space and you get rich. Let me write that down for my schedule tomorrow. Yeah. It's worth it. Trust me. Yo, 25k. Not bad. Not bad. Looking good. Fine. I need to flip the switch. Boop. Looks like the airlock near the goal has been activated. Nice going, Joker. Now we just got to get back over there, which should be easy. Hello. I think we're just straightforward from here. And I'm pretty sure there are no enemies after we go through that last airlock. So, this might be our last fight of the palace, other than the boss, obviously. Fire affinity revealed, dumb idiot. Get down. Oh, I didn't get the knockdown, rip. That's what Mopsio's for. I hope this is the last fight we have to do because Noir is officially out of SP, basically. She doesn't have enough to use a Sayo skill, so in my world, she's out. You reflects mean nothing to me. I just need to down this coin. Have I, I haven't recruited a coin yet, have I? Oh, let's get that to end then, hopefully. Hey man, why don't we stop this and go have fun somewhere? I got all sorts of girls lined up if you're into that. I'm, I'm not interested very wrong. <laughs> Even though we're in this situation, I was totally born under a lucky star. I'm sure a miracle is going to happen to me, right? I'd be jealous if it did. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Get in here, Kawain. Oh, the music in Persona 5 is great. One of the best hosts in video gaming. One of the best. Okay. Just have Ryuji hand some of his SP over to Haru, if only, man. If only. I can feel it. There's a chest. Joker. Probably the last chest of the palace right there. The airlocks actually did take us longer than I thought they did. I thought they'd only take about half an hour. I think it's we spent like about 40 minutes. That's only like 10 more minutes. That's not too much. Hacker voice I'm in. It was still fairly short. Yeah. Oh, we're finally reaching the end. That was easy. Uh, Skull, all you did was follow Joker. Treasure, here I come. Goofy's SP gift. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh, back to this music. Did you notice? These are the parts we saw in the factory area. So this is where they're being used. But what are they? It's hard to tell from just looking. Come on, man. Dude, let's leave the factory tour for later. We gotta focus on the treasure right now. Oh. Huh? It's rare to hear Skull say something sensible. Even after that whole shenanigans we had with the cat pitching a fit before, we're still. Oh, there's one more chest. Cat still oh. continues to treat Ryuji like an idiot. Were there only three locked chests in this palace? Maybe I missed some. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Bum, bum, bum. Open up. Ah, oh, nice. We can use this as a safe room. Me personally, I wouldn't use the cat after everything is done. <laughs> Fair, I guess. I'll just add this. You know, sometimes I just need wind, and it's easier to use the cat than anything else. But <sighs> if I had to ditch a team member, or if I could ditch it, even if I just had the option to ditch a team member, it'd definitely be the cat. Would you look at that dare treasure right there? Yes, we found it. This is it. But we haven't found any information about the mental collapses. That bothers me. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he's hiding it. We got this far. Wouldn't it be better to just squeeze the truth out of the guy? After we change his heart. Is fine by me. 
Let's send out the calling card and take his treasure then. You can decide when we do so. Oh, I thought there was a little more dialogue at the end here, but I guess not. Uh, I don't think there's anything over here. Ah, oh, there's this. A blade flashlights. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Can't get up there. All right, well, doing Okumura's palace was not what I had planned for today's stream, but it worked out pretty well. And it looks like most of part 200 will have been finishing up the airlock section and whatnot, right. so that's pretty good. Not too shabby, chat. Not too shabby. At least we got enough time to do a couple of confidant things or stat boosts. What do you want to do? We've secured our route to the treasure. You want to get out of here? Let's go. All in one day. Easy. Yes. We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Um. So the real battle begins once we actually send it. It's a bit nerve-wracking to think about. Let's prepare well to make sure we don't mess up now. Oh boy. Okay. You did great today. You tired? Yeah, I think we're going to read a book since we can't go out tonight. Reading a book will be good because we need five more reading sessions to finish the Jinbocho books. And I want that technical book ASAP. Well, a lot has happened along the way, but we're finally here. Did something happen? Uh, you know, the whole kerfuffle between you and Mona? That was mostly just between Mona and being a bad character. You really got to bring that up again? It's all good. It was because of your fight that we met Haru, after all. Thank you. I wouldn't be able to do this without your help. Now is not the time to thank us. The finishing touch still remains. The calling card, right? What do I need to do? Akira will decide when we send it. Once he does that, we'll meet up and discuss the details. I'll prepare myself for that. I leave it in your capable hands, Kurusukun. This is Haru's first mission, and we're going after her father. Give word when you're ready. Yeah, we'll wait a couple of days before sending the calling card, even though we won't be able to hang out with confidants. I need you to leave. The fanatical masses are waiting in anticipation of what the Phantom Thieves will do next. Are you among those who are waiting to see the president of that company meet his judgment? I am. Ha! I appreciate your honesty. I also can't deny the excitement I feel in my heart. It's clear that they have power. They have an ethical obligation to use it wisely. The pressure and expectations that burden exceptional people, I know it well. Haha. -ha. I'll be going home then. Yeah, get lost. Idiot. All right, we're going to read. And yeah, we'll finish Casanova. That'll give us charm. And then we'll just have the kindness and proficiency, both of which we need points in. Make sure you're close I'm heading up. home. See you later, Coffee Daddy. The first encounter is much like a fragile egg. You must incubate it with the heat of romance. What? Who comes up with the dialogue for these, uh, oh. for these books, man? Casanova? Seems to me he was more like a shameless pervert than a stud. Oh, did Teddy write this? At least you've learned more about the nuances of sex appeal. Still not charm level 5, but we should be getting close, and then we can get Makoto <sighs> ranking up again. Hopefully we get to rank 5 charm about the time we finish this palace, and then we can, we can focus on Makoto and Haru and get them both up to rank 8, at least, so that they get an Endure. We should, I mean, before too much longer, we're going to start getting tier 2 personas. Some of which are better than others. I'd like to leave Haru at rank 9 for as long as possible. The vice principal seems pretty on edge these days. Someone in my class got her recommendation cancelled by the vice principal. Principal words. The vice principal's been running his mouth lately, it's annoying. They're going to give us heck if we don't win next time. Another tournament's coming up, we have no chance of winning though. Favorite tier 2 persona? Loki is not technically a tier 2 persona, but Loki. For the purpose of gameplay, they treat him as a tier 2 persona, so he's my favorite. Even though he's not really that. So, the play that this Czech playwright wrote? Mm. What do you think the Phantom Thieves are going to do about Okumura? Is it important work in the history of literature for being the first to use the word robot? On, you Duh, make please. him have a change of heart. These corrupt corporations should just go bankrupt. Hey, you're in class right now. Quit talking about Okuma and the Phantom Thieves. Krusukun, you were listening at least, right? Yeah, what's up? Answer this Robot question. comes from a word in Czech, but where in Europe is the Czech Republic located? I'm awful at geography. Oh my word, I'm so bad at geography. This is the worst question you could ask me. It's not northern, right? Northern Northern Europe is, um... Northern Europe is like, uh... 
Oh, what is it? Northern Europe is, um, it's the, um, what are they called? Uh, Norway and the Nordic countries, right? They're called Nordic, I think. Norway and Sweden and whatnot. So it's, it's not Northern. It's either Central or Southwest. I don't know where Czech is on a map, dude. Southwest? Southwest, like we're... No. I think it's central. I think it's central. Is it central, chat? I don't even need to ask chat. I have max I have max knowledge. I can just guess. Billy the Grim, welcome to stream. Glad to have you. Finally caught you live. I've been watching on YouTube for a couple of months now. Keep up the good work. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, man. Glad you enjoyed. It is central, you This is it. I was right. Way to go. Czech Republic is in the central. The word robot comes from the Czech word robota. Robota actually means slave labor. Oh. I feel a lot worse about calling Labrys and Igus robots now. Oh, it's next to Germany. I knew where Germany was, roughly. Maybe I should ask if I could borrow his notes. Dude, where I'm awful going? at geography. Geography is like one of my worst subjects. That and biology. Existing only for slave labor, even from the origin of their name, robots are pitiful. Well, you could argue we're not too different ourselves, having to keep working in order to live. <laughs> Kawakami seems tired. But anyhow, if Okumura doesn't see others as people, we need to change his heart. Hoodie, welcome to stream. So many new people showing up right at the end of stream. We only got about another 10-ish minutes. I gotta go eat. Infiltration route secure. Yeah, I'm gonna go work at the flower shop because they messaged me. As if. We're probably gonna hang out with Maruki. We should be able to get him to six here. Hey there, Kurusukun. Have any plans after school? School? You can tell it's almost time to end stream because I'm butchering so many more words. Yeah, so now none of the thieves are going to be available until we do the calling card. But we can definitely do a couple of days without them. Because we could work at the flower shop to get our kindness up. We can hang out with Maruki and uh, Mementos. We got plenty to do. Hello, please. I am begging you. Get to Kemi ready for a rank up. Almost 500k. Very good. Please. Cass, what are you eating for dinner? I honestly have no idea. Probably, like, you know what I think I got? I got some mini corn dogs. Because I probably, I want something that I can just throw into the air fryer real quick. And eat fast. So probably some mini corn dogs. Finally! Finally! Alright, so we can get Takemi and Kawakami both to rank 10 at our leisure. Whenever we want. So we'll do that eventually. Let's go grab... Let's go grab a counselor, because I don't think I have one on me. And we're going to hang out with uh, Maruki today, because we need to make sure he gets to 9 before November. I thought Maruki needs to be ranked 9 pretty soon. Yeah, he has to be ranked 9 before November. We still got plenty of time. This is only... This text message that he just sent me, I'm pretty certain, is the second chance I've had to hang out with Maruki since I got him to rank 5. If skipping that one earlier rank means that... That would mean you'd have to be perfect to get Maruki to 9, which is not the case. We are... We are very good me? to go on getting Maruki to rank 9. We have... We're... We're like well... Well on, uh... Whatchamacallit. Well on our sure? way to making that happen. Nothing to worry about. You lack Time for some I do like patience, you're right. Let's Let's Let us begin Any search. cool fusions I can do? Get hard. Okay with this? Kikuri That's Hime. Terrible. I thought that you showed up in the sixth impressive. or the seventh palace. Didn't expect to see you so soon. You okay with this? Daisoju. Some Sara is like high chance of blessings to kill. Yeah, it's like the highest insta kill light thing. The White Rider. We need all of the riders That's at some terrible. point for something, don't we? Yo, White Not Rider impressive. looks sick. Look at all the eyes on this thing. I'm surprised this is chariot over death. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Bloodstained Eye sounds funny. We'll go with that. Aguilao, Buffalo for coverage. Speedmaster Fire Amp, why not? <laughs> I see. But anyways, yeah, we have we have plenty of time for Maruki. Right now, we are we do not have to worry about any of our rank ups. 
There is currently not anyone who is behind to an extent that I'm like, oh no, this might be a worry. Give me this over evil touch. Masuku Kaja is actually pretty good. I'll take that over Speedmaster. Yamato no Orochi! We did get to level 41. Nice. Yo, it's Hekata Kagana! What a lad. A tropus. Okay Hello. I need all of you for Norn Select eventually, I think. Like oh, I didn't even look at who I'm fusing into this. Who did I lose when I did Fusion. White Rider? I still have Ariadne. Okay, good. And Kagi and Picaro. Oh, let's look at our send real quick. Finished for I'll take care you need of more them. incense, buddy? You sure do. Which incense are you gonna light? Take some, gonna uh... Like well, no, actually, I just want to keep giving you strength light? up every time until your strength gets to, like, 30. Why is your agility yellow? Wait, is there still incense burning? No. Which I don't know why his agility is yellow. Normally, they're always blue. Dabba dee da die. Hey, give me strength and luck. Like Go for that. Oh, yellow is from a level up. It just means he leveled up? Okay. Time for some rehabilitation. Bum, bum, bum. Norn is actually not a special fusion of the three fates anymore. Oh, well. The last Persona game I was playing was Persona 4 Golden, so I bet that's why I thought that. Like All right, give me a counselor, here. please. I'll mess with more fusing later. I want to get this Maruki rank up. I want to basically cycle this day before we wrap up for today, so. I should have gone the other direction. Counselor's at the bottom because it's not a normal, whatchamacallit. A hey, Decarabia. Welcome like back, buddy. Are you finished? What? Something else we're definitely Let's also going to do next stream is I want to get the Wardens up to at least rank 5, maybe even rank 6. Definitely we want to rank them up. Let's do it, Maruki. Thank you, you're always so helpful. Well, then I'll be waiting in the nurse's office. Favorite fusible persona? Uh, Coffee Dragon. I also really love Metatron. Welcome. Those are the ones off the top of my head that I can remember. Hey, good work today. It's already autumn. You'd expect it to get a little less hot, huh? Uh, yes. Thanks to you, my research has been going so well. Really, you've been such a huge help, Krusukun. So... so I wanted to talk to you, but do you have time? I sure do. Let's get that rank 6 and see if you'll Thank be ready you. for rank 7. Thank you, Krusukun. Since we have time, I was hoping we could talk at that cafe you're staying at. I'm a big fan of their coffee. Let's head out now. I'll get dressed, then we can get going. I'm sorry. Sorry for coming over out of the blue. But it wasn't out of the blue. You asked if you could show up. Like, we planned this. You must have a real knack for coffee, Krusukun. This is fantastic. We got curry too, brother. I'd love to try some, but I think I'd better restrain myself for now. You see... It's about the research we've been discussing. I'm actually putting it all together in a paper. It's been really progressing lately, thanks in no small part to you. But I feel like I've hit another wall. So I'm sorry to bother you, but I'd appreciate if you could help me talk through this again. It's a deal, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I really do rely on you, Kurusukun. Dang, it's still not ready for a rank up. In deepening our understanding of the heart, I wanted to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you that was the point of all my research, right? It's thanks to you that my project has come this far. <sighs> but because of all that progress, I've realized a problem. One that may not have any solution. Even if my research makes great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. Isn't that enough? True, I guess. It's better than not being able to save anyone. But I can't just be satisfied with that. I mean, there are so many people out there suffering so badly, they can't even speak up and let that pain out. This is a painful, cruel, and bitter world. And there's only so much one individual can do to fight against that. I've said it before, working as a counselor only makes that more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. You know, I... Deep down, I... I don't think it's enough that I can just help people around me. A few people out of billions. I want to help more people overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. Yeah, he's a very dangerous Naruto character. In turn, we have infinite methods by which we try to treat it. And like I said earlier, there are people who need help desperately but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. My pain is far greater than yours. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, 
I don't think that would be enough to finally beat Trauma, and I guess that's what I ultimately realized. So what can we do? I haven't been able to get the question out of my head, but I don't have any answers. I'm not used to that. I really thought that would give me at least a music note. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand, and then remove the root cause of their pain, it sounds like something out of a dream. Yeah, it, uh, it also sounds like very dangerous for free will. Ah, uh, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. You ever watched Death Parade? Everyone's cognition? More importantly, what is this, Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind, you wouldn't understand that. I understood it. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. Krusukun, did I say something wrong? All hearts share some things, brother. You ever played Kingdom Hearts? Yes, there are common factors. No, wait. Oh. You're right. My goodness, you're right. That's it, Krusukun. The collective unconscious? If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. Ah, oh, it's so simple. Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right. And if I can combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back to cognitive science, too. Cognitive science, you say? Uh -huh. huh? Yes, what about it? Oh, didn't I say earlier? The research I'm doing is on cognitive science. Ah, oh, but I'm sorry, I need to go. I need to get this in my paper while it's still fresh in my mind. I knew it'd be worth bringing it to you. Thank you, Krusukun. I swear I'll repay you for this. Rank up. All right, he's not ready for rank six. We're gonna need to be high of that. All right. But he only needs three more rank ups, right, and then, then he's done because his uh, final rank up is story based. Well, I need to get going. See you. Oh, wait a minute. We can get him ready for a rank up right here. Krusukun. Sorry for rushing out so suddenly earlier. Heavy breathing per- what? Who wrote this dialogue option? What's going on, brother? Sorry, I ended up- Oh, still not ready. Dang it. Well, gee, yeah, it is. I ended up running to the station on sheer adrenaline. Didn't realize I was this out of shape, though. Anyhow, you helped me come to a major realization. The answer was right in front of me, and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is to focus on my paper. After all your help, I'm gonna finish it for your sake, too. Seriously, thank you. Bye. Later, loser. Evening. Hey. About that stuff you've got, the city armor, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah, nutrients. Let's go. Give me that kindness. Kindness rank five. Here we come. We only have one mega nutrient left, but honestly, I don't think we need to buy any more nutrients in the game. We'll either get to five from that me uh, mega nutrient plus the book and any other kindness we get. We're going to start getting kindness from the tower when we uh, unlock yes. him. So we need to get on that as well. I do not want to get Kawakami to 10 yet. Let me actually look at that request. We have to go to Mementos to start that, don't we? Staging the stage, mother. We're good. Who's been assaulting people? Winners don't use cheats. There's rumor in the gaming world about a player cheating in online gun about matches. Okay, so he's not ID'd. So I need to go to the arcade somewhere. I need to go to an arcade. Uh, that's something we could do during the day. And justice for cats, we need to work at the convenience store. So we can ID both of these by doing them during the day when the confidants, the main party member confidants aren't available because of the calling card. And then once we get both of these ID'd, we make our mementos run. After the mementos run, we'll look at doing the calling card and then that'll get us the main characters back. Hopefully we'll be near rank five charm by then for Makoto. Hey. Let me actually think about that real quick. Bum, bum. I've reached the maximum potential of knowledge. I'm definitely close on charm. Getting somewhat close on proficiency, guts, and kindness. All right. Charm will be our next five then, which is very good. That's what I want. After that, next most important rank five is... Oh, hey, Akechi. Oh, we can actually rank up Akechi tonight. That's probably what we'll do next stream then. We'll start by ranking up Akechi because I think we're about to wrap up for today. Yeah, we can't rank up Hafumi right now. We could rank up Mishima, but I'm not too fussed about Mishima at the moment. What rank is Mishima? Yeah, I want to get a catchy to 6. I think he has to get to 8. I actually think he cuts off at 6. 
until the next deadline. So we just get him to six next stream, and then we don't have to worry about a catchy until the next deadline. Bum, 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 bum. Mishima's at six. Okay. That's, I thought he was at like seven or eight. But that's fine. Yoshida, we need to get to nine soon. We're, we're looking really good on confidants. We still have to unlock Peru, who is Empress, and uh, Shinya, who is Tower. We're going to get Shinya very soon during this deadline. Pretty much right after we do our Mementos run, we can get him, I think. So we have two more ones to add to this. The only thing I'm a little like, oh, we're a little behind is I feel like a Y should be a bit higher than two. But uh, we're going to have so many 10s knocked out as soon as I decide who I want to be my first 10. Because we have so many 8s and 9s and whatnot. And a couple of 7s and 6s. So we're really getting there. Good stuff. Good stuff. That will be all for today. For those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to catch these live, link to my Twitch channel in the description. Part 200. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. But uh, yeah. Keep watching on YouTube otherwise. I appreciate support either way. And I'll catch you next time for more Persona 5. Until then, farewell.